Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to look at projectiles. What are projectiles? They are anything that gets thrown, shot or basically projected away from the main character. So you could use this to throw things, to shoot, all that good stuff. I'm sure this is the one that a lot of you have been waiting for. So, first of all, I've got a character that if I press P can move around. And I've set up two cameras, one to follow and I've parented one to the front of him. Now, this is going to be really useful in terms of like a first person view. So the first th thing that I'm going to create is some sort of um, weapon. It can be anything sort of that you want. It can be a cannon. Uh, let's have a cannon. Let's rotate it about the x axis, 90 degrees. We will smooth it out. Um, we'll just scale it down a bit, make it a bit larger. What you could also do in this, if you want it to be really clever, is in edit mode, you could sort of just grab the end of it and extrude that out a little bit and then scale it in and extrude it in just to make sort of like a hollow barrel. And you could also, if you subdivide this, probably just grab sort of like a back section or two. And just extrude them down as well. Now, there's loads of stuff that you could do with this, but I'm not going to go into it in too much detail at the moment. Um, this tutorial is about projectiles. So, back into object mode. I've got my object there, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to move it in front of my player. That's way too big. Scale it down a little bit and put it there. Now you could animate, if it's third person, you could animate arms coming out and all that good stuff, but I don't really need to do that in this case, so I'm just gonna sort of leave it like that. What I need to do is parent it to my main object. So remember that this is the child and this is the parent, so I select this first, then the player, control P, object. If I play my game now, by going into the camera, uh, I can see that it sort of follows my guy around, which is what I want. But also if I press 2, um, you can almost see it there. It's just sort of popping below the screen by the looks of things. So I'm just going to pull that out a little bit and play that again. So if I go in the camera now, you can see that it's sort of in front. Now that looks a little bit rubbish, but you can obviously see how you could turn that into something a little bit better. Okay. That's how you set it up, but how do you create a projectile? Well, first of all, we need to create um, some sort of bullet. So if we look down here, we have different states. Now, we're in this state because it's got an orange tip. If we click this one, then we create a new state. So I'm just going to add a sphere. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to smooth it out. Um, make sure you call it bullet, all that good stuff. And make sure your object is called the same. And all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to give it uh, some dynamic physics so it falls. So it's going to be a little bit more like Battlefield than it would Call of Duty. It won't go on forever, it will fall down. So back into our main state here. If we tell the weapon to create the bullet, it's going to create the bullet inside the weapon and you're going to have loads of problems with clipping. So we're going to add an empty. Now for you guys, you go up to add, empty and plane axis. I'm going to go up to add, empty and it just creates something that looks like that. And I'm going to scale it down and I'm going to put it just in front of... the object just there. So we lift it up in front of the center of the barrel and just pull it out a little way. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to parent that to the gun. So I'm going to hold, um, select it, hold shift and select the pistol, control P and object. 
and now what happens is that empty will move around with our object. Now we need to name the empty, so I'm going to call that gun. And all we need to do to it is let's add a keyboard sensor, we'll call it shoot, use any key, let's use a space bar, and we use an edit object, call it shoot. We're going to add object and it's just going to add our bullet that we created. If we press P, press fire, it creates these bullets. Now, a good tip is to hold shift and select both states. And then to actually move this over to where you want your bullet to come out. which will be in the middle of the empty. Scale it down. And then when you go back just onto your main state, um, it's the right size now. Um, that doesn't really do anything. It looks like it's a cherry gun firing sort of cherries all over the place. So all we need to do now is go to our bullet and say to our bullet to always, and we want it to move motion. Let's try this way. So let's move it with a force of 0 0.1. You can make that faster at any point obviously. Back over here, if I press P, it now moves with a force of 0 0.1. So it's a little bit like a rubbish BB gun. Let's change that to a force of 1. All of a sudden that fires much much better and if I go inside the camera you can see that that looks better and if I go inside the second camera it's even better still and obviously you can turn up the value so you can turn it up to two problem is if you make it too high guys you might think you've made an awesome gun but when it hits something you might have a problem with it detecting um, sort of where it's hit Awesomeness level 11 because of what you could actually do with this. You can actually use properties and things like that to create different guns, different weapons, all that sort of stuff. But we'll go into that later. Over and out.